What is going on comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce and today we are looking again into the future at books that are coming out in April. That's right guys, we're looking two and a half months into the future at the solicitations for Marvel Comics for April of 2022. Guys, get excited. We're gonna go through every single book that's on this listing. We're gonna look at all the amazing covers, all the information that Marvel puts out for us. And yeah, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. I'm gonna go over the good, I'm gonna go over the bad, and I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. So this is gonna be a very lightly edited video. I'm only gonna edit out the moments where I stumble over words, or maybe the train goes by because I have the window open because it's hot as hell in here. Mainly this is going to be me just spewing out my thoughts on the books as I see them because I have not gone through any of the solicitations yet. So this is gonna be a honest reaction to the books that are coming out in April of 22 from Marvel Comics. Now let's flip this camera around and let's start this video off. I would suggest getting a cocktail, a coffee, a seltzer, a water, a drink of some kind because this is going to be a longer video. I have no idea how long it's going to be. My guess is between 20 and 30 minutes long because again, there's going to be lots of books and I'm sure I'm going to have stuff to say. So let's not waste any time and flip this camera over and let's get this video started. All right, guys, I'm in front of the computer. I got the solicitations open, and let's start going through all the books coming out from Marvel Comics in April. I'm pretty excited. Are you guys excited? Guys, if you don't know, CBR puts these out every single month, and you can also go back to previous solicitations if you have that fancy. All right, guys, first book up is Amazing Spider-Man. Number one, I knew they were rebooting this. I heard other YouTubers talk about this, and yeah, I gotta say, John Romita Jr. on Spider-Man does not excite me at all. I guess they got him back from DC Comics to come back to Marvel to draw Spider-Man, but that makes me not want to pick up Spider-Man because I am not a John Romita Jr. fan at all. I'm actually a disliker of his art, so I don't know if I'm going to be picking up the new Spider-Man because I just don't like um, John Romita Jr. I don't like him enough to not pick up this book, so we'll see. This Peach Remogo cover is pretty sick. I probably will pick it up just for that. Why is Mary Jane on a cover in a Spider-Man suit? That is a great question. Um, this is going to be written by uh, Zeb Wells. And we got a ton of variant covers. So I'm sure there's going to be some really cool ones. But the interior art's going to suck so bad. Uh, yeah, 56 pages in $5.99 cover price. This is Amazing Spider-Man number two. Again, this cover sucks. I don't, <laughs> I don't like John Romita Jr. This cover is actually really cool. But why does he look so small? He looks like a little child. Uh, Spider-Man number two, Jeb Wells, John Romita Jr. Uh, we got a variant covered by Derek Chu and Huck Lee and Nicoletta Baldari. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99 cover price. Uh, looks like we got some facsimile reprints. Got number one. Spider-Man number one again. This is the annual. And then what do we got here? Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man number one, facsimile, facsimile edition. Man, that word's hard for me to say. $3.99 cover price. Again, if you guys don't uh, have the originals and they're way out of your price range, this is a way to grab those covers and those books at an affordable price because a lot of people obviously can't afford those. Next up, looks like we got Captain America. I've heard they, they are rebooting this series with Sam Wilson back in the driver's seat. Obviously, the uh, Marvel U Disney Plus has put him back in the driver's seat and we're going to see him in the next Captain America movie, which is really cool. Sam Wilson is a cool character. I'm excited to see that. Ooh, Alex Ross, goodness, but what is up with this trade dress? Who likes that trade dress? Guys, let me know down in the comments below, but that looks terrible to me. All right, uh, Captain America Zero. Looks like we got some three writers on the book. And yeah, and Matea, Matea de Lewis. I never heard of Matea, so I don't know if the interior art's going to be any good at all, but I don't know. Here we go. If you guys are into that, 40 pages for $4.99. Next up, we got Hulk vs. Thor, Banner War. All right. Is that a Finch cover? That cover is absolutely terrible. My guess is this is be some kind of one-shot. Is this an Otley? No, this is a Von Eden cover. All right. Which one's this one? I don't know. Another cover. Lots of covers for Hulk vs. Thor, Banner of War Alpha, number one from Donny Cates and Martin Cocolo. And they're also going to cover by Gary Frank and a variant cover by Martin Cocolo, Ron Lim, Trevor Von Eden, Trevor Von Eden, Ryan Stegman, wraparound cover by Jeff Shaw. All right, lots of covers to choose from. 40 pages, one shot, $4.99. Celebrating the 60th anniversary of both characters. This 
epic five part crossover between the Thor and Hulk series starts here in this oversized Elva issue brought to you by creators Donny Cates and Martin Cocolo. All right. Key mysteries for both series will be revealed as well as a shocking consequences for both the future for both futures are the future of both characters continued in Thor number 25 and Hulk number seven. So if you're reading both series and you want to know what's going on, start with this issue. Hulk vs. Thor Banner War Banner of War Alpha number one. I don't know, picking up. I'm already picking up both of those series, so that's going to be exciting. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that is cool. I'm already reading Hulk. I'm enjoying Hulk for the most part. It's a little weird, but Donny Cates is doing a weird weird story. But I'm digging it. And the artwork by Ryan Otley is off the chain. Uh, Hulk number six, 32 pages, 399. The last, this is, I guess, ending the first story arc of Hulk. It's cool. I'm digging it. Uh, Thor number 20-something. I know that. Uh, that's a cool cover. I'm digging it. Don't love it, but I'm digging it. Okay. That is that is terrible. Not into that cover at all. Uh, Thor 24, the Spider-Man variant cover by Delkin Shaney. That's terrible. I don't like that cover. Uh, 24 pages, a bunch of different writers on this. I guess this is a some kind of big issue. Kevin Klein, or Nick Klein, covered by Nick Klein. Star-studded celebration of 750 issues. That's pretty cool. I guess that's the legacy numbering. After a scorched earth victory of the God of Hammers, Thor and all of Asgard reel from the brutal loss. But some people are never truly gone. In honor of the 750 issue of Thor, fan favorite creators J. Michael Straczynski, Walter uh, Simonson return for this oversized issue. Celebrate the long and storied history of the God of Thunder with writers and artists who helped build his legacy. Pretty cool. 72 pages, which is a lot of pages, but eight ninety nine. Yowza. Deadpool Bad Blood. I have no idea what this is. Deadpool Bad Blood. Rob Liefeld, Chris Sims, Chad Bowers, and Rob Liefeld, artist and cover artist. I think he's one of the worst artists out there, along with, yeah, John Romita Jr. Not a fan. Deadpool Smash Hit, first ever graphic novel, now serialized in comic form. Well, Wade Wilson has been shooting, stabbing, and otherwise annoying people for a long time. He's made a lot of enemy- enemies. But one he can't just quite place is the brutal thumper who keeps showing up out of the blue to pound him into jelly. What is Deadpool's past connection with this beefy face smasher? Wade has as much of a clue as you do, so he decides to call upon some help. Domino, superstar co creator, Merc of a Mouth, Rob Liefeld tells his greatest Deadpool tale yet. I don't know. That's That sounds dumb. I'm not picking that up. Electra! All right. Ooh, I like that cover. That is a beautiful cover. I guess it was drawn back in 2020. It's 2022, people. Why do we get a 2020 artwork on a 22 book? All right, we got a lecture number 100 from Anne. I am not don't know how to pronounce the last name. Paula, again, don't know how to pronounce your last name. Ty Templeton and more. So I guess this is a bigger issue. 40 pages, 499. Cool. X-Men Red. I believe this is the launching of a new series, X-Men Red. All right, it's a cool storm cover. From Al Ewing. I love Al Ewing. Steffel Cassini. Uh, covered by Russell Dodderman. I'm a big fan of Russell Dodderman. Let's see what we got. The mutants of Akarko spent millennia scarred by war. But on what was once called Mars, they're learning to live in peace. Storm knows the red planet needs something greater than a queen. But Abigail Brand has other plans. Along with an unstable Vulcan on her side and Cable keeping his own secrets, welcome to X-Men Red. It's a new world and someone has to fight for it. I don't know. I don't know. Are you guys into this? I can't be into this because, I don't know, X-Men have sucked for so long um, ever since, you know, the end of the last run. So we'll see. I don't know. 40 pages, four ninety nine. Not bad. A little oversized. I like it. X-Men Rend, another Russell Dodderman cover. Same as the issue number one. All right. You got one and two. This is 32 pages, three ninety nine. Just going to continue that series. Legion of X. Now that is a dope ass cover. I guess they're bringing back Legion. Come on, Nightcrawl. That is dope. Love Legion. I'm a big Legion fan. This cover is not as cool. All right. Legion of X number one from Spy Spurrier. Spy Spurrier. Jan Bazadula and cover by Dyke Ruan. All right. We've got some bunch of different covers. These Todd head knock or these Todd knock headshot covers are so terrible in my opinion. Uh, Kokoa has its laws, but does it have justice? To remain a mutant sanctuary, Kokoa must safeguard itself against those who would damage its peace or traumatize its people. The lost must be found. The wicked must face redemption or retribution. All right. It's all 
up to the ever soulful swashbuckler Nightcrawler to keep the spark alive in Legion to host his unique team of psycho psychedelic mind space called the altar with pixie on point juggernaut as a one-man riot squad and a host of x favorites on the beat the legion of x will do anything to protect mutants right to pursue happiness and hope all right sure all right we got 40 pages 499 knights of x let's continue with the x-men onslaught of books because we need so many teams we don't guys slim down your line oh this cover is really cool Slim on your line and make it really, really good. Teeny Howard, already probably a terrible book. Not a big Teeny Howard fan. All right, the quest begins here where mutants are hated and feared once again. The gates to Otherworld are closed and Captain Britain is trapped on the wrong side. Usurper's Merlin and his right-hand man, King Arthur, what the hell, are now in control of the of lunatic Citadel. Furies the size of sentinels raise villages to the ground in their hunt for the witch breed. Cut off from Kagroa, Betsy Braddock is Otherworld's only hero. And to save her people, Betsy must recruit a round table of her own. Oh my god, this book is getting stupider and stupider by the second. The Knights of X gather to restore the rightful order and rescue desperate mutants. But their quest is about to get so much bigger than that. This is the era of destiny and the fate of Otherworld's um, lies at the center of mutant kind's future. Don't miss this essential piece of new Krakoa. Sorry, that sounds so, so dumb. 40 pages, 499. Oversized, or sorry, giant size X Men Thunderbird. It's fine. That is a terrible, terrible design cover. All right, so we got one, 40 pages, 499. If you're in the Thunderbird, you'll probably be into that. X Men 1992. My guess is they're going to go back and try to do a comic based on the cartoon. All right, House of. I'm not even going to be able to do that math. One of five, everyone's favorite 90s incarnation of X-Men have returned. But this time, everything is even all newer, all more different. Mutant Kind is taking a huge leap forward by founding their own nation on this island of Krakoa. Guided by Professor X, Magneto, and the mysterious long-lived woman who knows more than she should. That's right, the 90s X-Men are tackling the Krakoa age 30 years early. And it's not going the way you expect. Not picking up that. 32 pages, 399. Jim Rugg, Hulk Grand Design Madness. I know this was supposed to come out in, uh, this was during last month's solicitations, so March, March's solicitations, but I guess they moved it back to April. Cool, Jim Rugg, he's the uh, artist and writer on this book. Very uncovered by Ed McGinnis and Jeff Darrow. Yeah, writer artist Jim Rugg concludes his creative reimagining of the entire history of the Incredible Hulk in this can't miss oversized issue. You'll never look at Bruce Banner the same way again. I'm in. I'm down. 48 pages, 599. Moon White, Black, White, and Blood. Why are they doing another Black, White, and Blood series? I'm not a big fan of anthology st- stories. And so, yeah, I will most likely be skipping this unless there's some kind of first appearance or something like that for my spec pile. Um, but that is a really cool freaking cover. All right, that's another cool cover. All right, I know they want to do a lot with Moon Knight, so that's cool. That is not as cool as the first two covers. Uh, Oh, Jonathan Hickman, there we go. Mark Gutenberg, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Chris Bacala, Jorge Fornes, and Dotona Akande. All right, maybe I will pick this up because there, I love Jonathan Hickman. I love Chris Bacala. I love Jorge Fornes. So maybe I will. Maybe I will. A bevy of Comicdom's finest creators put their mark upon the first, the fist of Kanushu in stories depicted uh, in stark black, white, and blood red. Jonathan Hickman and Chris Bacalo introduce an all, do, all different Moon Knight of the future. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Mark Guggenheim and Jorge Fornes tell a Moon Knight adventure in reverse in Mar- Marwe on Delhi and Dote Akande. Take the white-clad crusader up the amazing Spider-Man for a harrowing night of adventure. Ah, all right. I'll give the first one a shot. 40 pages, 499. Captain Marvel. Ooh, I like that cover. I like the cover a lot. Captain Marvel Annual Number 1. Cover by Lee Garbett. Ah, I really, really like that. Guys, and I apologize if I butcher anyone's name. I am terrible at pronouncing names. Uh, but yeah, we got Annual. Wenverse. I am not into this. I saw, I've been seeing this for a while. Um, David Nakayama is a great artist, but I'm not into that at all. Spider Gwen verse three of five. Yeah, 
I don't know. If you're into this, you'll like it. I'm definitely not. 32 pages, 399. What if Miles Morales? Again, I think they're stretching with this first. I think the first issue was he's Captain America. Now he's Wolverine, which is cool, I guess. But now I think he just grabs against draws. It's a money grab. Two of five, John Ridley, which his Batman has actually been way better than I thought it was going to be. You got 32 pages, 399. Moving on, moving on. Venom Lethal Protector, two of five. David, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Even, again, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. It's here on screen. Guys, take a look. All right. Venom Lethal Protector, 32 pages, 399. Carnage. What is this? What issue is this? This number one? Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right. That's a Spider-Man cover, variant cover I could be into. That's actually pretty cool. Carnage, number two. Ram B, one of the best writers in the game right now. Francis, um, Francisco Mat- Mana. I was saying Matina. Francisco Mana. Um, artist that's pretty cool there we go for years the only host the dangerous carnage symbiote knew was cletus cassidy sharing a bond unique with amazing or even among symbiotes and their hosts uh the two were the most notorious and prolific serial killers in the marvel universe but after the events of extreme carnage cletus Cletus's Kodaks has found a noon home, leaving the Carnage Simulate adrift alone and deadlier than ever. All right, that's pretty cool. 32 pages, 399. Punisher, we know that they're going to try to push a new Punisher logo on us. That's not cool in my opinion, but we'll see what's happening. There it is right there. It's really weird. It's like a Hydra Punisher, whatever. Written by Jason Aaron, which again, if you guys watch any of my videos, you know I'm not a fan of his uh, current Avengers run, it's pretty terrible, but his uh, Avengers Forever was the first issue was so good. And I like Jason Aaron, I think what he did in Thor was a lot of fun, and he did some other really good stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, the hand, oh, I forgot, not that's not it's like the hand, not uh, Hydra. The hand has lost its way. What was once the world's most fearsome organization of ninjas and killers has found itself defeated time and time again by lesser foes. One priestess believes it's because the hand hasn't had the proper the proper leadership, the living embodiment of their dark god, the beast. Enter the Punisher, the most accomplished murderer who has ever lived. The man determined to end war no matter what. That seems like it's more of a solicitation for one or a synopsis for one. Whatever. Punisher number two. I'll probably pick it up. Strange number two. This is Clea, Clea in the Sorcerer Supreme that looks like Madam Mask. Jed McKay, great writer, really like it. Marcelo Ferreira, Ferreira, maybe. Borns Barnes is such a good, such a good artist. All right, I'm picking it up mainly just because it's Clea. It's strange in its Sorcerer Supreme. We're gonna let's see what happens after he dies. Even though I didn't read that, but I'm into this. 32 pages, 3.99. Captain Carter. I'll be skipping this, just because. Jamie Machiavelli, yeah, uh, definitely not Machiavelli, maybe? Macha- nah, whatever. All right, I'm skipping it. If you guys are in the Peggy Carter, cool, as Captain Carter. 32 pages, 399. Doctor Strange, the Nexus of Nightmares. Probably will not be picking this up. Yeah, I don't know this writer, and I don't know this artist. Covered by Todd Knock. Oh, that's actually not a bad Todd Knock cover. It's way better than his head covers. Way better. All right. Number one, Nightmare has invaded Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange's dreams and turned them into terrible nightmares. The dark feelings now inhabit every fiber of Doctor Strange's waking life, and he has left or and has left him weak and unable to protect the realm. Now Baron Mordo then in Nightmare are ready to strike. Can Stefan shake Nightmare's grip over him, or will the world be lost to Nightmares forever? I guess this is out of continuity because he's dead. That guy be dead. This is amazing. Spider-Punk, Olivier Coppel is such an amazing artist, and that is just freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait for this. This is going to be fun. Fun. I have no idea who Cody Ziegler is or Jason Manson, but covered by Ol- Oliver Coppel is so, so good. I cannot wait. Hobby Brown is the arachnic Spider-Punk set to protect Earth-138 with his axe in hand and his chaotic band of punk rockin' heroes backing him. Can't wait. Can't wait. Do you need to know any more? Spider Bug, come on. 32 pages, 399. Ben Riley, Spider Man. Um, I think I get the first issue. I got the Scott Young cover, but I don't know if I'm going to be continuing this. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool cover. I dig, I dig. Ben Riley, 4 of 5. J.M. Demetrius. Demetrius. Oh, my God. I'm so terrible at pronouncing names. 
All right, Ben Riley, if you like it, there you go. 32 pages, $3.99. Ooh, why does Silk look so old? In Huck Lee, old lady Silk. Ooh, ooh, that is that is a nice cover. That is a nice cover. Let me see the artist's name. I do not, but that is a gorgeous cover. Silk 4, Emily Kim Tashake. I'm not Mitsuwawa, Sawa, Zawe. Cover by In Huck Lee. Oh, there it is. Ji Hung Lee. Such a gorgeous cover. Definitely, that's going to be one people are going to go after. Speculators, beware. That is a gorgeous cover. Silk becomes her newest, uh, her newest villain's latest victim. How will she save the day when she can't even cross the street by herself? 32 pages, three ninety nine. Savage Spider-Man, number two. This is on the continuation from Non-Stop Spider-Man. Um, this is actually no three of five. Joe Kelly. The first, uh, I would say non-stop Spider-Man was okay. Wasn't amazing, but Chris Bacalo on art was absolutely amazing. But uh, I believe they switched to, um, Gerardo Sandoval because Chris Bacalo could not keep up with the pace that was needed for this to come out like they wanted. That's what I heard at least. So that's a continuation three of five, 32 pages, three ninety nine. Spider-Man as an actual spider. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Again, this costume is god freaking awful. Stupid. Hate it. Miles Morales, number 37. 32 pages, 399. I'm not reading it, and I'm not going to pick that up. This was the Lethal Protector. What is back? Uh, I guess we're doing it again. Lethal Protector. There we go. More covers. More covers. Venom, number 7. Ram V. Got to be picking up. Brian Hitch, great artist. Reading Venom. Venom's a lot of fun. Cannot wait to see what happens. 32 pages, 399. All right, Marauders, Marauders. I, I guess they relaunched Marauders. All right, Steve Orlando. I'm not a fan of him either. Will not be picking this up. If you guys are into Marauders, guys, they're relaunching it. This is looks like uh, Professor X's sister, I believe, or maybe that's Professor X. I don't know. I do not. I don't care for it. Three thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. I'm not going to linger. I'm not going to linger. Here we go. Uh, Immortal X-Men. Why do... Oh, my God. So many. So many books. Uh, that's kind of cool. I guess that's supposed to be... I don't even know who this was. It was Emma Frost in like kind of like a a sexy spider woman or anti-venom costume. Immortal X-Men. Carrie Gillian. All right. They got a good writer, but I don't care. So I'm going to skip past it. 32 pages. Three ninety nine. If you guys are into X Men, Wolverine patch again. Skip. Why? Why do I want this? No one. No one's asking for a patch book. Wolverine patch. Larry Hama, Andrea Davido, covered by Jeff Shaw. If you're in the, if you want some patch, there you go. I've been kind of liking X Men. I've been picking it up. X Men ten. Gary Duggan, decent, decent artist. Uh, writer, not artist. Javier Pina, covered by Pepe Larez. Pepe Larez is such an underrated artist. Uh, and they should be using him on more stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll be picking that up. Thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. Going on, X Force. X Force used to be great at the beginning, and then I just ended up dropping it. We get looks like we got Forge. He's being possessed by some kind of crazy being. Yeah, I dropped it a while ago. We'll not be picking this up. That, that cover is pretty cool. Looks like everyone's possessed. Why is everyone possessed, Mister Sinister? Sure. Oh, that cover's kind of cool. X Force 27, Benjamin Percy. I think he's been on the book for a while, but not for me. 32 pages, 399. New Mutants. Again, I dropped this a long time ago. Linnell Francis U. Great cover. Great, great cover. Ooh, that is a sexy, sexy cover. Madeline Pryor, it looks like. All right, not as sexy. Vita Ayala, no, 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 thank you. Rod Reese is decent. Lenel Francis Yu, we got a Stanley Art Germ, Art Germ, Philip Tan. We got some decent covers. 40 pages, three, or not three ninety nine, four ninety nine. New Mutants 25. I haven't read this in so long. I dropped it like issue 10. Sabretooth. I'm interested in this. I'm a big Sabretooth fan. I like Wolverine. I'm not picking up Wolverine anymore because it hasn't been good for a while. But Sabretooth, what are they doing? Is he a villain still? Or is he a good guy? Because I know they made him a good guy for a while. What is going on? Um, I don't know who Victor Lavalle is, but I'm, I'm picking up the first cover. I love the cover by Ryan Stegman. Ryan Stegman is such a stud. I'm not going to read the description. If you guys are into it, you're into it. You're not, you're not. Excellent, or the excellent. Again, another X book. Why do they have need so many X books? Write one good one and go from there. Number three, 32 pages, 399. Wolverine. Decent cover. 
Oh, I like Deadpool in the background. He's holding some guy's head or a robot's head, taking a selfie. All right. Big fan of Deadpool. That's a terrible cover. Terrible cover. Benjamin Percy, Adam Kubert. All right. Wolverine number 20. Not picking it up because I've dropped it a while ago. 32 pages, three ninety nine. The Avengers. I dropped this at 50, and that's where I'm going to continue dropping it. Not picking it up anymore. Avengers 50. Jason Aaron still on this book. God, why? Someone tell me why. I don't know. Last seen during the events of Heroes Reborn, Nighthawk and the Squadron Supreme of America return returns to the scene with a dark and mysterious purpose. Is it he friend or foe to the Avengers? Nobody's sure, but there are no such questions about this deadly new incarnation of the Serpent Society. Okay, that's just dumb. Dumb. Avengers Forever. Yes, Aaron Cooter on art or cover art. Oh, goddamn, why can't he be in the interiors? Jim Tawe, sure. All right, I've been really enjoying this. I cannot wait to see, to see more from this. Really fun, really fun book. Iron Fist, all right. Another Lonel Francis U. Iron Fist, three of five. Alyssa Wong, Michael um, Yug. I don't know how to pronounce that. Exciting book, though. I'm definitely picking this up. Danny's Rand's search continues, but he's about to realize that he isn't the only one hunting this mysterious new Iron Fist. Why is he hunting the Iron Fist? I thought he gave over his powers willingly. As demons stalk Kung Lung, the ugly histories are dragged into the light, and the new Iron Fist will have to make a choice between his duty and his conscience. Oh, no. I don't know. Pretty cool. I'm into the into the art covers on the covers, at least. Silver Surfer Rebirth. Man, that Silver Surfer Rebirth 1 and 50 by Alex Malik was so freaking amazing. All right. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay. All right. Spider-Man and Silver Surfer. All right. Three or four. Ron Mars. Ron Lim. Okay. 32 pages, 399. If you guys are in the Silver Surfer, you're probably going to pick this up. I don't know if it's any good because issue number one has not come out yet. But issue number three, here we go. Ghost Rider, I'm all in on this. Hell, hell yeah. Ghost Rider number three, Benjamin Percy, Corey Smith, covered by, I'm not even going to pronounce that. But that is cool. That is a cool cover. Eternals, still going on. I can't believe this issue is still going on, or this series is still going on. Eternals number 11, Carrying Gillian. Uh, Asad Ribic is such an amazing artist. Love that guy. 32 pages, 399. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Are you reading Eternals? Are you guys enjoying Eternals? Gotta know, because I don't. Here we go. Fantastic Four. Um, what is this? Fantastic Four, number 40 feet. Um, Fantastic Four, number 43. It's clobbering time. That's actually a pretty cool cover. Her face looks kind of silly, but I dig the rest of it. That's actually pretty cool. Dan Slott hasn't done anything good in so long. Art by art uh, cover by Kafu, variant cover by Superlog. That's actually pretty cool. Superlog, that is a cool cover, man. I'm not I'm not picking this up. 32 pages, 399. Again, you guys, if we're reading Fantastic Four and enjoying Fantastic Four, let me know down in the comments below. Cannot wait to get. Oh, actually, no, I got She-Hulk number one. I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited. First to see General Walters back in her normal form. Really excited to see what this is going to um, be like. I don't know who Rainbow Rowell is. So, this is She-Hulk number four. Excited to see that. Uh, 32 pages, 399. Maestro, World War M. Again, I haven't read any Maestro, so I'm going to go ahead and skip over this. I don't want to jump into something I know nothing about. 32 pages, 399. Black Panther. Never been a big Black Panther fan panther fan and i'm one of the few people who does not like that movie i think that movie's terrible terrible i know black panther number five john Ridley. again i like his i am batman story a lot makes me want to maybe try this out but again i'm just not a big fan of black panther 32 pages 3.99 if you guys are reading it and you like it guys let me know down in the comments shang chi let's keep this train moving so this video is not a hundred minutes long huh that was actually kind of cool all right all right how is that a spider oh, i guess he's supposed to be like a shang chi Spider-Man. That's cool. Chang Chi 11. 32 pages. 399. Not, not reading it, so I'm not really all that into it. The Marvels, same thing. Not reading it, so not really all that into it. Co this cover by Alex Ross is amazing. That is a really cool freaking cover. If you guys are reading this and I should pick this up, guys, let me know down in the comments. But again, 32 pages, 399. Moon Knight is a series you guys have to be reading. This series is such, such a good series. Weird cover amazing cover moon knight Gemma k is crushing it really 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 like this book moon knight be reading it 32 pages 399 miss Ma marvel again i haven't met miss marvel since like the first run this is uh five of five beyond the limit number five of five again not reading it so i don't know 30 pages 399 the thing again skipped over the series so i don't really know wow 
Wow, that's that's a cool cover. That is a cool cover. By Muhadid Ashar. Muhammad, man, that is a dope ass freaking cover. Six of six, the last issue of that series. All right, 32 pages, three ninety nine. dollars Cool. Iron Man, I dropped this a while ago ever since it became that cosmic creature. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. That's David Nakayama. David. What happened? Iron Spidey, I guess. Fine. Iron Man 19. Christopher Cantwell still on the book. Kafu, sure. 32 pages, 399. Don't really care. Now this. Here we go. Here we go. We got some fire. Here we go. Strange Academy, number 18. Scotty Young. Umberto Ramos. Character spotlight covered by Arthur Adams. Platitudes get thrown around a lot in these pages, but if you've been reading Strange Academy, you know we don't mess around. So listen up. After this issue, things will never be the same at Strange Academy. Seriously, you do not want to miss this issue. That is going to be this is uh, that is going to destroy you emotionally and destroy the school beyond recognition. Is that spec worthy? Is that enough information to go on to spec? Sure, I'm going to. Why not? Strange Academy is amazing. Issue number 18, 32 pages, 399 changes forever. Alien, I got the first issue. Not reading it after that. Philip DeKellen Johnson is a great writer. Salvador LaRocca is a great artist. Uh, 30 pages, 399. What do we got here? What do we got here? That looks cool. Oh, we got a cover that's not loading. Oh, there we go. It loaded. Not as cool as the first cover. Jason Aaron, Muhad Asar, variant cover by Pascal Ferry. All right, that cover by Muhad Asar is so good. Damn, that is cool. So cool. All right. I'm not reading King Conan, but Jason Aaron, is he sometimes good? He's sometimes terrible. 32 pages, 399. I don't read anything Star Wars, so this is beyond me. Uh, Star Wars, the Hal Salon. Oh, why don't we even try to pronounce it? Four of five. All right. Ethan Sachs, never heard of him. So if you guys are into that, cool. Star Wars, 23. Charles Soule, Raymond Rasanas. Oh, God. Why do I even pronounce things? I hope you guys are having a good time listening to me. Terribly pronounced names. All right. Star Wars. Han, uh, Star Wars. Han Solo and Chewbacca. This looks like a Phil Noto cover. All right. Oh, this cover. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Variant cover by Adam Hughes. Variant cover by Mike McCone. All right. Is this the Mike McCone cover? Or I don't know. That's cool. Han Solo, number two. Han Solo and Chewbacca, number two. Pretty cool. Mark Guggenheim, decent writer. All right. Star Wars, Dr. Afra. Ooh, that's kind of cool. What, what is that gem? Is she trying to steal it? Is she having an Indiana Jones moment? Dr. Afra, number 20. Alyssa Wong. All right, sure. 32 pages, 399. There's uh, going to be some variant covers, but they're not out yet. Star Wars, Bounty Hunters. Ooh, that's a cool cover. I like it. I dig, I dig. By Giuseppe Chemicoli. Yep, decent artist. There we go. But Ethan Sachs, again, I don't know who that is. Sure, 30 pages, 399. Star Wars, Darth Vader. Sure, cool. Greg Pak, Star Wars, number tw- Darth Vader, number 22. Again, I'm not reading any of this stuff, so I have no idea. So I'm just going to go through it quickly so you guys have the information. 32 pages, 399. Star Wars, Crimson Rain. Ah, uh, that's a cool cover. I'm digging it. Linnell Francis Yu. Star Wars, Crimson Rain, four of five. L- lots of variant covers. Lots of variant covers. 32 pages, 399. All right. That looks like we're getting into collected editions. So, yeah. We're not going to go over that stuff, guys. Thank you guys so much for checking this video. We went through every single floppy copy that D- or not DC Comics, Marvel Comics is putting out in April of 2022. I'll be putting out the DC version of this video tomorrow, which is Saturday, the 29th. Yeah, 29th of uh 2022 so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did guys let me know down in the comments below if i did something that you guys did not like let me know so that way i can change it for next month's video if it, there were things that i did do right and you did enjoy me giving you that information let me know down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace